Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm going to be playing around with the Christmas event, because I need to grind it. So, that's going to be today's video, and I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a comment, subscribe, and of course, there goes the Elgato. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, there's two events currently going on at the same time, too, by the way, which is what's really screwy. I think the music's a little funky, so I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Okay. So, yeah, two events going on at the same time. It's kind of weird. Um, I did a video uh, yesterday, by the time you're seeing this, on Gourmet... The Gourmet event. I forget the the other... I want to call it the Gourmet Race, but that's the name of the Kirby... Uh, the Kirby stage. Um, but in that, I was talking about specifically a uh, missing talking to my co-workers because I've been thinking about when I'm left to myself I think about a lot of stuff I would prefer not to think about because um, it doesn't really benefit me all it does is make me question everything it's not like productive it's not like I'm learning anything from it but anyway I digress um, but we were specifically I was specifically talking about an argument that lasted I think five hours five, five hours long of me and a co-worker debating the differences between a boat and a ship. Now, I'm pretty sure I also just forgot to freaking hit auto-repeat on this. Um, my stance was... No, my co-worker's stance, who we will call A, A said to me, we were working on our project, and he said out loud, I don't believe that there's a difference. No, I said, basically, we need to make a code and I said, is it a boat or a ship? The thing that's in it. And he said, it doesn't matter. They're the same thing. And I told him, no, they're not. <laughs> there's very clearly a difference between a boat and a ship because you would not, there's a reason that there's two separate words. If they were the exact same thing, we literally would not have the two separate words for it. Um, and then he said, instead of just saying like, okay, and just accepting that he was wrong for his views, he instead doubled down and said, I don't think that's true. So then this started a debate that started, um, usually most of our in work debates kind of go like, oh, once we hit the, the break time, that's basically the way for it to end. We hit break and we immediately came back and started arguing about a boat versus ship again. So, his basic thing was is that there's no difference. A boat and a ship are the same thing because they're both vessels that go into the water uh, and they carry something. And I told him it's literally, it's not possible because there's some things that you can call a boat but you won't call them a ship. Um, for example, uh, if you if you were to tell your date we're going on a we're going on a cruise on a ship. And then you showed up to the ship, and you showed up to the ship, and it was about the size of a tiny, tiny boat. You wouldn't go like, well, yes, this was a ship. This was what was advertised to me. No, you'd be immediately pissed, because you'd be like, this isn't a ship. This is a boat. Um, and he refused to see this point. Um, I continued to give him examples, such as that you can put a boat on a ship, but you can't put a ship on a boat. Um, the reason is, is that on a lot of cruise liners, there's tiny boats. They're called rescue boats. You put them on the ship. Um, you would not put a rescue ship on a, t on a boat. <laughs> I just don't see that being a thing you would put on there. Um, and then we went into this whole, I forget how we went. And then eventually went into submarines. And then he said, I think, then I told him, do you think a submarine is a boat and a ship? And he said, yes. And they, so I said, you can put a, can you put a big ass ship inside a submarine? And he said, no, but you're being ridiculous. I said, I'm being ridiculous. You're the one here who doesn't, who refuses to look at the facts. Um, so this went on for a while and we were going at it for so long and he was being so stubborn about not wanting to say that there was a difference between a boat and a ship that eventually the other co-workers were putting into it because it was like because <laughs> it i don't know how i'm making it sound but the way that we specifically talk to each other it's very rare for me to actually fight someone on anything 
So when I do, I get more and more incredulous and it can be seen as funny sometimes. Like even when we were arguing, we weren't like yelling at each other face to face. We were making our points and also laughing at each other's points. Um, having a good time. It wasn't like a hostile work environment. We weren't like ready to fucking trade body blows with each other over boat versus ship. It wasn't that serious. It was something to pass the time because, you know, work was hard. Um, but around hour three, that's when the others started to chime in. And it was like, okay, so boat versus ship. And, th and then at this point, my supervisor has gone into this boat, boat, boat B ship, where she's like, I don't, you know, A, I don't think we'll call her P. So P came up and she's like, you know, A, I think Wokey has a thing here. I think he is right that there is totally a difference between a boat and a ship. And then at that point, he's like, well, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> does everyone think that? And at that point, everyone's kind of like, yeah, he's kind of convinced us that there's a difference between a boat and a ship. Uh, because his, you're not really defending your points. All you're saying is, how about this? And then he's actually telling you how there's a difference between a boat and a ship. Um, so then we hit our second break, which is at the four hour mark. At the four hour mark, we both get up. We go to see our boss, because sometimes our boss, we like hanging out with my boss. My boss is actually super cool. I'm like, I think one of the very few people who can say, I actually kind of like talking to my boss. This is a very cool guy. Uh, even when it comes to work stuff, he's always been very honest with me. Um, so we get up, we go to him. Usually we go up to him to talk about wrestling, but as we were going in there, we were like talking about boat bo versus ship. So he's like, what are you guys talking about? I'm like, all right, A basically doesn't believe that a boat and a ship are the, are the same, are, are different. He's like, he doesn't believe that they're different. He's like, yes. And he's like, yes, they're the exact same thing. It doesn't matter what you call them. Um, because they're both, in essence, the same thing. And, I, and he said, like, okay, interesting. We had similar debates about this before where he was saying whether or not um, Robin is actually a hero. And whether or not a sidekick is a hero. Because in order to be a sidekick, you need to be um, literally not the hero. You have to be the sidekick of the hero. So does that make you the hero? And I was on the side that like, yeah, all sidekicks are heroes. That's why the Teen Titans exist. And for that specific debate, my boss is like, no, I don't see it because literally you wouldn't call someone a sidekick unless they weren't a hero. Um, and that caused the whole debate thing, which I still think is, if you're looking at this, and you agree with me, by the way. Um, I say that there is totally... At least that one I was willing to let go. Because, like, okay, if you want to follow by the letter of the law, their initial uh, reasoning behind that is, I guess, yes, that's that way. So, when we told my boss this, the second he was on my side, I was like, okay. This, our boss could literally debate someone for literal... I've seen him go in debates with people where he barely kind of had a grasp on the situation but he was like no i feel like he could he's like a very good like person who can you can debate with or maybe the worst kind of person to debate with because he's just so good at like getting under your skin and getting you to say what he wants you to say but the second we um he was on my side i was like okay this is done this is shut in case I'm right, Boat V ship. And even up until the point where we were getting ready to leave, we were still arguing about Boat versus ship. This legendary argument eventually ends, and we both go, okay, dude, see you tomorrow. He's like, all right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> we come back. We come back the next day, act like nothing's changed, except for now there's a clear thing of nobody ever wants to bring up a boat or a ship. Because the second they bring up a boat or a ship, they look to us and they go like, it's it's like this thing of like, oh my god, are they going to start again? And I'm fine with not starting again. Because um, even though I'll know fucking win if he tries to start that shit again. But it really had evolved to the point where it's like, no one wants to bring up boat or ship to either of us. So it literally start us on a tirade. Um, because one time he wasn't the, um, he couldn't make it to work, so we were like, okay, yeah. And someone brought up Boat versus Ship, and one of the new people was like, Boat versus Ship? It's like, what do you mean? And I said, okay, let me quickly explain this to you. And as I was explaining it to him, I was getting angry at A, <laughs> as I was going like, mm -hmm. can't believe you didn't think that there was a difference between a boat and ship. He's like, I had no idea that Boat versus Ship was such a strong point of contention in this office. I said, you damn right there's a strong point of contention over this. I'm all about um, calling shit correctly. I'm about using the English language to its full advantage. 
There's a reason we call something this thing and something that way. Obviously, there's some exceptions, of course. Like, I'm, I'm specifically talking about inanimate objects, by the way. If you're, some, if you're a real person, I respect what you say you are. That's the end of it. But if we're talking about a boat versus a ship... If a ship came to life and told me it was a boat, I would respect its decision. But it's not a real thing. It's a fucking ship and not a boat. Oh, man. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. That was a... This was a weird one. I'm still grinding. How is this thing still going on? Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you liked it, I hope you did. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. That's the end of today's adventure, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I wish you all a happy boat versus ship day. Bye-bye. Give me strength, dragon. Simply spectacular. I will keep everyone safe, even if the cost is my life.